Hi, I'm Andrew Goodwin, and this is the Orlando Health News Review for September 18th. Recently, local Band 408 visited patients at Orlando Health Arnold Palmer Hospital for Children, stopping by the Seacrest Studios to talk with patients, play games, and perform some of their hits. What is your approach to making a song? How do you how do you guys start off with that? When it comes to writing music for me, I usually draw from within yeah. and see what I'm feeling or a topic, whether it's a friend or whether it's you know something in the past or with something I'm feeling right now that's typically how I usually write a song and it could start from humming something in the car or the shower it could also start with just picking up the guitar and playing a note and Karen Frenier is here to share some great news happening on October 1st in our student loan repayment program and a new benefit for 2025 Hi, this is an exciting time of year. It's open enrollment time, and I'm here to tell you about a teaser. Um, we have some benefit enhancements this year for eligible team members that I am super excited about. The first one is student loan repayment. We have taken some of the rules away. Physicians are eligible, leaders are eligible, and it doesn't have to be required in your job description any longer, and the five years goes away. So you can use it any time while you're employed at Orlando Health. Health, the max is $6,000. Super excited about that. The second one is short-term disability. It is going to be employer paid for all eligible team members. That means if you have short-term disability right now and you are paying premiums, those go away. Orlando Health is going to pay those. So excited that we are enhancing benefits that are important to you. We have gotten this feedback from you and we listen. So I am so excited. Stay tuned for more details. And registration is currently underway for this year's Heart Walk. Orlando Health is thrilled to support the American Heart Association Heart Walk, taking place November 9th at UCF and November 16th at the Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. Walker registration is now underway, so let's show the community how Orlando Health is dedicated to building healthier lives, free of cardiovascular disease and stroke. Our goal for this year is to have 2,000 walkers representing Orlando Health, and all registered team members who attend the walk will receive an Orlando Health team shirt. Visit SWIFT to sign up today, and be sure to share the reasons why you walk. Let's go, Team Orlando Health. And Orlando Health Arnold Palmer Hospital for Children, Orlando Health Winnie Palmer Hospital for Women and Babies, Orlando Health Dr. P. Phillips Hospital, and Orlando Health St. Cloud Hospital participated in a back-to-school supply drive benefiting a gift for teaching. Team members collected over 7,000 supplies valued at nearly $10,000. A gift for teaching provides free school supplies to public school teachers in Orange and Osceola counties and has distributed over $169 million worth of school supplies to teachers. Thank you to all the team members who donated supplies for teachers and students in need. And here are a few dates to know. Check SWIFT for all the details. That's it for today's edition of the Orlando Health News Review. We'll see you next week.